On this two cent Tuesday, I'm gonna go over the delivery meal options. I used three different brands and I'm gonna tell you my experience with them and which one that I liked best. So this was of course obviously over quite a few weeks that I had to do this. Each week I ordered a different one. We did Dinnerly, we did Hello Fresh, and then we did Everplate. We're gonna go back a few weeks. I'll give you my thoughts, feelings, and everything about these. Now on Dinnerly, you can get it to come on Tuesdays or Thursdays. You can have it for two people, four people. It does have vegan, it has... This is our Dinnerly box, I just got it in. It comes in a box like this and then you just have all your food. And what I like to do for me, I have a basket that I put in the refrigerator and then I just put the meals into the basket. And then that way it kind of keeps it separate of everything that's in my refrigerator. So you just take all this out. I put it in this basket and then they have in the bottom, oh, I missed a, more. Then in the bottom, oop, missed more, ginger. <laughs> in the bottom, it's got ice packs that they pack the meat in, and they have two of the ice packs, and then you have the meat in little packs. Oop, I got a garlic, <sighs> roasted red peppers, and I think that's it. I have to really look in here because this stuff, sometimes they get lost. So you want to make sure. So it's an insulated bag with the ice and this is the Dinnerly. I will show you me cooking a little bit of this. I did do already one of the Dinnerly's. Hello Fresh, we had done it years ago and I like the portion size of it a little better. I liked that they sent you the recipes in the box. Dinnerly, I have to go online and print them or hold my iPad open and use that. Next time you see me, I'll be cooking one of these meals. instructions seem really normal everything so let me pull out I'm gonna read this real quick I'm gonna pull out my basket that I put all my stuff in what meat do I need all right so this one calls grass fed ground beef and what I really should do is get like some little smaller baskets and each meal put them in their own basket. But all I have right now is just one big basket. So I just go down through. It tells you what they've sent with the package so I can go through here and pull that out. Then it says what will I need other than the stuff that they put in here. So a lot of times it's salt, pepper and stuff like that. And then they tell you what you're gonna need to cook. This one's gonna need a large pot and a medium nonstick skillet. I'll probably show you some processes through it and then I'll let you know our thoughts on it. And, and the, one of the reasons that we started doing this years ago is because it'll push you out of your comfort zone. And when you look down through there, you pick things that you've maybe never tried before because this is better than takeout. It's sesame, ginger, beef, noodle, stir fry. And uh, these are my noodles. It looks like plastic. So this is really out of my comfort zone. But we're gonna try it and let you know what we think. Stir fry noodles, and then the snow peas, garlic, fresh ginger, teriyaki sauce, roasted sesame seeds. That's all I need out of this. I'm gonna put this back up and then start getting things prepared. And I didn't, I'm not gonna do all the meals with you, but leave. That's two chicken breasts in there. And I don't know if you can see or not, but that's just not that big. Like literally my hand's almost bigger than the chicken breast. So that's the reason I say that the portions so far in this dinnerly are kind of small. It just seems that way to me. And I feel like we have to put something with it every time because we cooked this last week, but I didn't record it. 
And then I decided, oh wow, I need to make a video about the different ones. And I'm just leaving my refrigerator. But last week on the ones that we cooked, I had to add stuff to it because got the stuff out. It was not very much. It just goes step by step. It has one, two, three, four, five, and then it gives you like what you can do to make it extra special. And then that's kind of it. So let me make this and then we'll let you know what we think about this one. I look smart, don't I? Don't laugh. One day you'll be old too. So anything that you see me doing wrong, I'm not a chef. I could be on that show, The Worst Cooks in America. That would be me. But I can follow these directions and make a meal. I just don't know how to do a lot of stuff because cutting with the knife, finely chopped, Not sure they're not going with something weird and different. This is going to be interesting. I don't know, but let me know. It looks like the pitcher. We'll see if it tastes good. Are you going to come try it? Well, yeah, but we're, we're, uh, they're, uh, they want to see us try it real quick. I sure don't want nothing. It's okay. They don't care. You're starting to look. <laughs> Maybe cooking us something else for dinner. <laughs> no, that is just bland. Yeah. I wish it had more um, soy sauce. I may not have put enough salt in there, you know. Do we have soy sauce? No. What? Oh, no, it's teriyaki sauce. I have soy sauce. I don't have teriyaki. It was teriyaki sauce. The soy sauce would probably work with this. Let me try that. It yeah. doesn't taste really. A little mm. bit on yours and try it and see. Oh, well, maybe the guinea pig. I was, I test, tasted it first. It didn't taste too bad with the salt putting it on there. Oh yeah, that added a lot of flavor to it. <laughs> Are we supposed to just put soy sauce on our food? I don't know. Don't think I'm crazy over there. I think I got a black shirt on. All right. I just don't think it gave us enough teriyaki sauce. I think it would have been better if it had more because I couldn't like coat it real good. Yeah, it didn't have much flavors. Is this supposed to be green beans? Those are those snow peas. I don't know that we like snow peas. That's those crunchy things. I don't. All right, this is this is the the dinnerly meal that we made. And like I said, we've had three last week, and we liked all of them. They just the portion size wasn't good. Today, soy sauce, makes a difference. Soy sauce made it taste so much better. These this had more portion size than the other ones. And I showed you the size of that chicken. We're gonna eat this this week. The next week, I'm gonna try out a HelloFresh. All right, didn't want you to leave thinking that we didn't like it. It ended up being really good once we started eating it. Once we started eating it, that sounded bad. It was just something that we're not used to. I did feel like the soy sauce added. It only had a little pack of teriyaki sauce. It needed more of that to make it tastes better, or maybe I didn't salt it enough, but the soy sauce added, and it was really good. We ended up really liking it. So, wasn't horrible. I would probably say we would even probably eat it again. We would just have, this time, I would have teriyaki sauce here to add to it. Just to talk about portion, Leek, look at this picture. And, and like, to me, that looks like, it's like, it's the size of a plate. Like that, that one piece is the size of a plate. That's two pieces. Look how tiny they are. This dinnerly, I'm really, really sad on the portion size. Can you imagine if you give your husband that? Mm, not good. our HelloFresh this week. I was gonna unbox it with you real quick. 
I wondered if HelloFresh was gonna actually have these cards in there because it's been a while since we have done them and they do. So on HelloFresh so far, I like it better because we don't have to print these out every time. It is a beautiful colored card and it has all the information. And this one actually like has pictures of what you need for each meal in it and it gives a description. So that way if you don't quite know what something is that you may have gotten in your box, you can at least reference it to a picture. And it actually has like little pictures of different steps and stuff. This box is a little bit better than the other one. And look, everything is in little bags where the other one was just all thrown in here and then I had to sort them as I went. This one has got a little bag and it is clearly marked what is in this. So this is for the chicken teriyaki meal. This is for the basil and herb chicken. And then this one is for the Southwest shrimp tacos. Then down in the bottom, they've got two ice packets that has all your meats in here. You got shrimp, chicken, and chicken. And still again, these look like these are small portions and I don't remember them being this small, but maybe they had more vegetables or something with them, but I just don't remember when we did these before being as small as the dinnerly. I'm going to put this up in the refrigerator and then when I get ready to cook one of them, I will bring y'all back out. Last night, we had the Southwest, let me grab it, Southwest shrimp tacos. I didn't record last night because Bill got home late and so it was late and I just wanted to hurry up and <laughs> cook and be done. Gosh, they were so good. Even Bill was like, keep that recipe so that we can make it again. And so that way you can just go buy the stuff and make it. It was so good. Tonight we are gonna do the balsamic tomato and herb chicken and we'll let you know how it is. And then next week we're doing the every plate I know this is a little longer Two Cent Tuesday than I normally did, but I didn't want to do this on a Friday video because I really feel like this is my two cents of these meal plans. Get out our ingredients, which is so much easier with HelloFresh. So much easier. Just grab a whole bag. You don't have to go through the ingredients because they've already done that for you. had two that we really liked. Tomorrow, which I'll show you the pictures of it, um, it's ter uh, chicken teriyaki with sesame broccoli and jasmine rice. The portions, maybe the, the, the actual chicken is not as big, but the sides are bigger. Compared to dinnerly, you're getting more for your money, obviously, with this. It is on the sides. All right, I will show you what the meal looks like from tomorrow, and then I'll record the three meals that we've got from Everplate next week, and then I'll give you my thoughts and reviews on these. Well, all right, this one already has a bad strike. This was supposed to be delivered yesterday, and uh, I just got home and they were delivering it right now as I was pulling down the driveway. Well, I don't like that. All right, the box is actually smaller on the Everplate, which I kind of like because the other one is so big and I feel like you're wasting more space in it because there's not like, it's not packed really tight. This one does have the recipe cards that we like. They're smaller, they're little smaller recipe cards, which I have to read them with glasses on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now. It is not bag separate. So it's just all like in here. So we got some linguine, got the rice, got the green beans, another bag of rice. And you get all your little sauce packs. Now let's hope this next section is still cold because this was supposed to be. Yeah, 
it's not cold anymore. So we're not gonna be able to do this video. It is hot. And I don't think I wanna eat meat that's hot and uh, kinda hate that. So now I'm gonna have to contact Everplate and let them know that our box was late. This is gonna mess up my Two Cent Tuesday for next week because that's what I was gonna do because I was gonna finish this up. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe try to cook this. I do have salmon out there. I do have deer sausage and I do have ground deer meat. So I'll probably go ahead and make this because I mean, I have all this stuff. I might as well use the, my stuff I have, my meat, but this meat got ruined. <sighs> FedEx. Don't ever use FedEx. Ours is the worst. I don't know if it's just our area or what. Nicole, how can I help? Hey, um, my name is Kelly Smith. I just got an order and it was supposed to be delivered yesterday and it wasn't delivered today till today and everything and it is, I mean, the ice and everything is melted. Yes, I'd like to apologize that you did receive your box late and rest assured that I will file a report on your behalf as well as a proper compensation for that. I can process you a full box credit. Would it be fine? Yes, that'll be fine. So last night I made the Tuscan turkey meatballs and that turned out really good. I used deer meat instead of turkey meat. I use, well, I use venison. I, I keep calling it deer meat. I know venison is the correct word, but anyway, I use venison and it was really good. Now tonight we're making the sweet heat ponzu, ponzu, ponzu salmon. I hope that's it. But it looks pretty simple. I already had some salmon, so we're gonna make this tonight. The biggest thing I can say about this one is it's not in the little bags. I don't know why I like that. So we'll get out my bag. Sweet Thai chili sauce. I got garlics and I need two cloves of garlic. I'm getting a lot of garlic because they keep sending like a whole head of garlic each time. <laughs> and I only end up needing a little bit. I'll put all that back in there. That'll be everything I need for tomorrow night. Also on this one and on um, the other one, it shows, what, it shows you what you'll need for this recipe. And I do know that, not in this one, but I am gonna need a zester. I don't own a zester. All my pots and pans and everything are like, oh, probably 20 years old. Start prepping and getting everything ready. We had Dinnerly. Dinnerly was probably our least favorite. The portion size felt smaller compared to the other two. We didn't enjoy those meals. The Dinnerly was the cheapest per servant. It was like $4.69 a servant, but you did have to pay $8.99 for shipping. And when I say it's $4.69 per servant, it just depends on what you pick and how much it is because it varies a little bit from plan to plan. Dinnerly, you can do three meals. They come on Tuesday and Thursday in our area. Dinnerly, it just, you had to print the menu each time. So it was like an extra step when you got the meal prep in. Also on the Dinnerly, when it came, it was not sorted out. So it was just a box with everything piled in it. I didn't like that either. I sorted mine, I just put it in a basket. I had to go print the menu. Then I had to go in there, go through all the ingredients, pull out what I needed. And you know, if you didn't know what you were looking for, you might get miss it. So it was a lot more prep involved to actually get to start to cooking because you had to print the menu and then you had to go and get all your ingredients together. Now, the HelloFresh, we have used that before, is the most expensive of the three, but there is no shipping charge in it. It can be from $7.49 to 909 a serving and it varies a good bit 
You need to log in to find out what days it delivers for us. We were getting it on, I think you get it like on Sundays or Wednesdays, but we were getting ours on Sunday. But one of the Hello Freshes, it came in on Sunday. It was supposed to come in on Sunday and Saturday night Bill went out there and it was out there. So I don't know, it came in a day early. But the Hello Fresh, everything was bagged separately with what's in that bag for what meal it is for the instructions and everything in it so you didn't have to. So when you got ready, like what I would do is I would have them stuck to my refrigerator and I would look through them and go, okay, which one am I gonna do this week? I would pull it out, I would open the refrigerator, grab the meat that I needed and grab the bag and I was ready to cook. So it was a lot quicker as far as that goes and the portions felt a lot bigger than the dinnerly. Now the Everplate, I don't feel like they got a good representation in this fight, our box came a day late. So that was like aggravating our idiot in itself. The first, the box never came. It came a day late. All the meat was ruined. FedEx is the one that delivered it. I have to say though, when I called Everplate and told them what happened, credit towards another meal rather than giving us our money back. But they were super nice and they took care of it. And I ended up using our own meat for those, those meals. But I still prepared them and everything. They did not come in their own separate bag, but they did have the menus with them. It was a smaller menu. And the Everplate box was a lot smaller than the other boxes as well. The Everplate was probably the medium price point. It was about $4.99 a servant and it was $8.99 shipping. And I didn't have anything bad. And I know like all these companies are somehow intertwined because if you start going to look like this company and this company, they have different names, but they're owned by the same people. Depending on which one you choose, you could be using the same company, just a different name. Now there are so many. I tried to research to see how many. Some of the things said the 23 best meal delivery services. I'm thinking 23, that just means that there's not, that's not all of them. You could go from one to one to one to one and get like a bunch of them for really cheap. They all have and offer great deals to start to start with. So literally you could just go from one to one because like none of the ones that I bought, except the HelloFresh because I had done it before, but the Dinnerly and the Everplate, I didn't pay very much for those. I found a deal because you could get so many weeks for free or you just had to pay the shipping or, you know, it was a discounted rate. It was half the price. If you want to try a bunch of different ones, I would go. Now, what I love, love about the dinner delivery service, I hate to think, what am I gonna cook tonight? I hate that. I don't like it at all. I fumble and with that so bad. But when I have these delivery services, I'm like, what do I wanna have? Oh, I have three options, let me look. And then I pick one. And I love cooking that way, but cooking is miserable when I don't know what to cook and I can't figure it out. I just, I, I'm not good at it. And we don't even have all the items and stuff that you need <laughs> to cook with. I don't have a zester. I'm gonna have to get one of those because a lot of the meals had zesters and I, I, I don't own one. Another great thing about the delivery service is it makes you try things that you might normally wouldn't. And then you learn how to make something because I think it's called a romalade. I think that's what it's called. But you take like sour cream and some seasoning and some water and you put them back over tacos because we had that one night and we loved it. And then I made that again later, but not with the delivery service. So it kind of helps you learn some things that you might like or, or even learn something new about cooking. They are all super easy. You just read the instructions and go through they're all usually typically under 30 minutes to get everything ready. So it's quick meals. And we did the two person, but you can do for four, a family of four even, and you can change around. But the ever plate I had read that you can substitute items on it. I don't know the other two, I never saw anything about that, but I did see on the ever plate, it said that you could substitute items. I know on the dinnerly, I believe it's got like vegan options and they all I believe have some kind of a vegan option. But if you haven't tried a delivery service, you need to. 
I think you might enjoy it. I know I did. It turned out good and you always learn something. The only negative is we have a lot of deer meat, so and we eat a lot of deer meat. So when we do the delivery service, it it causes us not to eat some of our meat. But heck, the last year and a half, two years, we've eaten at home way more than we have ever eaten at home in our life. So we go through it a lot quicker. So this kind of gives us a break. And we, Bill really enjoyed almost all the meals. The dinnerly wasn't our favorite. Hello Fresh, even though it was the most expensive option, was probably our favorite. And ever plate, it really didn't get a good running, but I'm gonna order another one of those. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Two Cent Tuesday. It ended up being a little longer Two Cent Tuesday than normal. I just, I wanted to give you my two cents on delivery meal services. Let me know which food delivery service that you like in the description box, and that way maybe you might be one else that I can try out. All right, if you haven't subscribed already, you need to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the bell notification so it'll let you know when I upload a video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps our channel so much. If you don't follow us on Instagram, go over there and follow us. There'll be a link in the description box. We'll be in Destin this week that this is airing. We're in Destin. And you can kind of see some fun things that we're going to do. I'm going to try to post over there. I'm not good at posting on there. Well, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Two Cent Tuesday. Till next time, like and subscribe.